Hi, and welcome back to TNT's Blues Corner. Hey, I got a mic in my face. This is just part of it now. Sorry, I'll move it out of my way when I'm playing. Hey, look here, though. Look what we have. Oh, look, at we have a B-cam. Ah, uh, this is my wonderful guitar. Oh, let me talk in the mic. This is my wonderful guitar. This is a Frankenstein, Frankenstein guitar I built over the years. This started out its life as a 1983 Stratocaster 57 reissue from the early days of the Fender Custom Shop. This was a great guitar then and a great guitar now. When I bought it, it had a warmest style, I think, body on it and had really, 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 really thick white polypropylene or whatever they call that stuff. I had to have that off there. So I took it off and you saw that guitar, I think, on my first ever video or second ever video uh, where I just kind of played this. And I played any video called the 83 Strat 57 reissue would have been that guitar. Well, about a year ago or so, I turned it into this. I was just happenstance on the internet, and I said, whoa, what is this? What is this MJT guitar? And I thought, I got to talk to Mark Jenny from MJT. So I gave him a call, and I sent him some pictures of this neck, and I talked to him about what I had, and lo and behold, we were able to accomplish something that I've been trying to do for years, and that was recreate my first guitar, which was a 5758, somewhere in that time frame, Fender Stratocaster looked just like this really it was black same kind of markings the neck looked very similar in wear and why i bought this originally is to try to recoup that guitar if we only knew what we knew back then how many people other than the other guy watching this video right now i know who you are actually for their first guitar owned a late 50s fender stratocaster well i'm one of them okay so let's get into this thing uh right now we're going to play through the soul food i've got a mxr uh Dyna comp on just to, for some compression and we're going through the classic 100 so we're going to start out the neck and we're going to see what this thing sounds like so i'm going to push this away and here we go i'm just going to go right down through them i'm not going to talk again for a while so sorry That's the closest you're going to get to a clean sound today for me, but that's fairly clean. And we could get a little feel of what the guitar sounds like uh, just through the amp, right? Well, we got the soul food on, but that's basically just a boost, right? Clean boost. I don't have any of the dirt on on the soul food. All right. Oh, one more thing. This is uh, two original pickups from the 83 Strat. And back here is a um, Jason Lawler, right? Yeah, Jason Lawler. The same one that they put 
in the Nash guitars, if you know anything about the Nash 57 and Nash, any Nash Stratocasters, oh, go check those out. Those are really nice. I'd love to have had one of those, but a little bit out of my range right now. So I made this one. But uh, that's one of the reasons why I put this in there, because I really enjoyed the sound of those Nash guitars. But, all right, I'm going to put in the dirty little secret. We're going to hear some dirt with this. We're going to start back at the top and go down again. No more talking for a little bit. so there you have it that give us a little bit of power to see what this thing can do and actually i was wrong i had the ac booster on through it all well what the hell that's a great pedal so we'll see what it sounds like so just because of that you're going to get a little bit more of this guitar because i really want you to hear what this guitar sounds like with the soul food through the dirty little secret by itself so here we go and i've been tnt's blues corner and i will see you next time Yeah, 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 yeah
Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hey, we'll see you later.